the different types of derivative contracts let's see what is forward contract a forward contract is basically agreement between two parties a buyer and a seller to purchase or sell something at a later date at a price agreed upon today forward contracts sometimes called forward commitments are very common in everyone's life any type of contractual agreement that calls for the future purchase of a good or a service at a price agreed upon today and without the right of cancellation is a forward contract to understand this in detail let's go through an example but there's a farmer he wants to lock in a price of dollar 50 for a load of crops he's afraid that the price will drop and he'll get less than his dollar 50 so he enters into a forward contract on the underlying asset load of crops with the forward price of dollar 50 and the expiration date of 6 months from now that is when the harvesting begins actually he is taking a short forward position because he benefits when his underlying asset that is the load of the crop goes down in price now if the price drops to dollar 40 he still has the right to charge dollar 50 for his load so the farmer here wins and the buyer makes a loss as he has to pay dollar 50 what happens if the price of crops goes up to dollar 60 here the farmer loses as he has the obligation to sell the crop for dollar 50 when the market price is dollar 60 on the other hand the buyer wins for having to pay only dollar 50 for the crop which are worth dollar 60 now you can see that a forward contract is essentially a bet the farmer here bets that the price of the underlying will not be higher than dollar 50 whereas the buyer has the opposite view now let's see what is a futures contract a futures contract is an agreement between two parties the buyer and the seller to buy or sell something at a future date the contract trades on a futures exchange and is subject to daily settlement procedure Future contracts are evolved out of forward contracts and possesses many of the same characteristics. Unlike forward contracts, future contracts trade on organized exchanges called the futures market. Futures contracts also differs from forward contracts in that they are subject to a daily settlement procedure. Next comes swaps. Swaps are private agreements between two parties to exchange cash flows in the future according to a pre-arranged formula they can be regarded as portfolios of forward contracts the two commonly used swaps are interest rate swaps and currency swaps interest rate swaps involve swapping only the interest related cash flows between the parties in the same currency whereas currency swaps entail swapping both principal and interest between the parties with the cash flows in one direction being in a different currency than those in the opposite direction now let's understand options contract a financial derivative that represents a contract sold by one party to another party is a options contract it offers the buyer the right but not the obligation to buy or sell a security or other financial asset at an agreed upon price during a certain period of time on a specific date let's take hsbc stock example suppose hsbc stock is trading dollar 500 today since you have no money today you have entered into a contract where you will buy hsbc stock at dollar 500 after one month then you will face two conditions in this situation first if the market price of that stock goes up to 550 you are happy as you have contracted to buy it for dollar 500 second situation could be if market price of that stock goes down to 450 you will become sad as you still have to buy it at dollar 500 
so in this scenario option plays crucial role which means choice the buyer has the choice to buy hsbc stock at dollar 500 but he is still forced to buy it this is because he has an option that is if the market price is below dollar 500 that is the price goes down to dollar 450 then the buyer simply goes to the market and buys the stock at dollar 450 so one month later if the market price goes to 550 the buyer buys the stock as he is getting a profit of dollar 50 by selling it at the market price but when you exercise this option you are charged with a fee and that is called as premium or the price of the option so let's go through what is a premium or a price of the option option premium refers to the per share amount that a buyer pays for an option for the right to buy or sell a security at a specified price in the future one pays an option premium regardless of what, whether or not the option is actually exercised the option premium often changes due to fluctuating market conditions and economic variables the main thing affecting the option premium is the difference between the stock price and the strike price which is known as the specified future price now all this again looks very complicated let's make it easy and try to understand this with the help of an example of the hsbc stock so your broker will tell you that the price of the option that is premium is dollar 10 per stock if you buy an option for 100 hsbc shares you need to pay dollar 1000 that is 100 shares multiplied by dollar 10 per stock this has to be paid up front on the date of the option transaction the option gives you the right to buy 100 hsbc stock from the seller at dollar 500 each one month from now now let's see how do we make money from this options contract let's stick with the same example and assume that the hsbc market price has gone up to dollar 550 in this you have a choice to buy it from the seller as per the contract at dollar 500 while entering into the contract you have already paid dollar 10 per share as a premium to the seller of the options contract so your cost is now dollar 510 per share you can now sell it in the market if you want and make a profit of dollar 40 per share and if the market price of hsbc goes down to dollar 450 then you don't exercise the option contract because you can buy the share directly from the market at a lower price your loss is just dollar 10 per stock which is the option premium paid that is the beauty of an options contract it limits your losses to the premium paid but your profits can be unlimited now there are two types of options that is the call option and the put option let's go through it in detail call option gives the buyer the right but not the obligation to buy a given quantity of the underlying asset at a given price on or before a given future date for example let's say you already own hsbc shares you want protection in case the price rises you buy a call option the right to buy at a price of say dollar 500 now even if the market price rises to dollar 550 you can still buy it at dollar 500 similarly we see put option put gives the buyer the right but not the obligation to sell a given quantity of the underlying asset at a given price on or before a given date for example let's you let's say you already own hsbc shares you want protection in case the price falls you buy a put option the right to sell at a price of say dollar 500 now even if the market price falls to dollar 450 you can still sell it at dollar 500 okay so these were the types of options